So now I'm going to fill this candle number three with colored water. Okay, I think that's enough. Now in this candle. Hello friends, today we are going to learn something about air. So what is air? Air is matter. It occupies space but it does not have a specific volume or a specific shape. Air is also a mixture of different gases. The, the main components are nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor and a small amount of carbon dioxide. There are also some inert gases in air. Now let's see if we can learn something about the main components like nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide through a simple activity. We have three candles here and we are going to light them up one by one. So this is candle number this is candle number 2 This is candle number 3 Let's light up candle number 1 While lighting the candle You must be very careful Otherwise take some elder cell So the gas needed for burning here is oxygen Oxygen is a very important gas all the living beings need oxygen from, for breathing. These candles are also burning with the help of oxy oxygen. Let's put a glass tumbler over candle number 2. What do we observe? The candle goes off. Candle 1 and candle number 3 are still burning. Why did the candle number 2 stop burning? This is because while we put the glass tumbler on the candle, we cut off the supply of air inside the glass. This means we also cut off the supply of oxygen the oxygen present in the glass is already used by the candle. There is no more oxygen present in this glass. The candle number 1 and candle number 3 are still burning because they are getting continuous supply of oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide gas. So this glass does not have any oxygen present but it has other gases so let's move candle number one and candle number two aside let's do not touch them now we will move to candle number three so now i'm going to fill this candle number three with colored water Okay, I think that's enough. Now we will this candle. <laughs> so what do we observe? Some of the the colored water rises up in the glass and the candle goes off. So we have already learned from candle number 2 that when we cover the candle with glass it uses up all the oxygen present in the glass and stops burning. See the candle number 1 is burning now also. So in candle number 3 the candle goes off because we put the glass over it 
and some colored water rises up because the candle uses up all the oxygen present in this glass and makes some vacant space and this uh, colored water rises up and takes that vacant space but this water does not rise ab above this height why because this space is um, occupied by other gases mostly nitrogen and a small amount of carbon dioxide hope you all enjoyed by discovering the gases in air as much as i did while demonstrating them see you again in next episode with something new to learn have a good day bye